So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay, try telling me a joke. A neutron enters a bar and asks, How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. <laughs> I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. I just realized I messed up. I was going through and updating some uh, some skills on everybody, and uh, that's when I realized I may I may have messed up just a wee bit. I was supposed to. Go through and uh, pick someone or make a, a weapon. So, you know, there's that. Confirm loadout. Time to land. And we need to gather enough resources to build something in that R&D center. Coordinating. Path is calm. I think that that was actually somewhere else. Maybe it was here. I don't remember. Okay. Show me the mu- uh oh. Oh, that was weird. It freaked me out. Ah, okay. Maybe it is over here still. Excellent. Ooh, I like that. See, that's one of the new skills. Very cool, huh? Okay, research center. Use. So. Um. Sure. Thank you. All right, development. Sure. Excellent. Let's craft it. Yes. Okay. It's been added to my inventory. Excellent. And exit. Nice. Okay. Ooh. Excellent. So I think we're done. Let's take one more look just to make sure. Oh, PB got a skill upgrade? No, she didn't. What are you talking about? Technology, yes. Research and development. Okay. Augmentations. Thank you for that. Mm-hmm. Inventory. Um, is this one better? A little bit less damage? Really? Yeah, look at the clip size, the max ammo. It is a wee bit heavier, though, isn't it? All right, whatever. We did what we were supposed to do. Let's get out. Oh, wait, I never looked at the missions. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh, priority ops. Addison, speak with Tan and give EOS radiation time to clear, right? Gotcha. Uh, Helios assignments, the Nexus, the firefighters, and Nilkin. Okay. No. No. Where's me, Carrie? Oh, yes, that's back on there, too. How have I not scanned any minerals? All right. 
I think we're done here on EOS for now. Hopefully we'll get some kind of uh, notification that the radiation's gone. Hopefully. Yes, we would like to depart the planet. Ascent is go. Thank you. All clear. Yes, it's all clear. So now we need to go to the Nexus. Yeah, I know it's complete. Bill's been asking if you can come by. Oh, yes, that's right. He has been asking that. Where is Gil anyway? I'm gonna. S Why can't I go out that door? Wow, that was really weird. What are you two doing? Are you guys okay? Pathfinder, so this you is have what you and Ryder do for fun. Explore weird vaults that try to kill you. We yeah. fly into space clouds that try to kill us too. That's true enough. I deserve a raise. Okay. Oop. So we have a stowaway. You mean PB? Mm. She's decided to set up in one of the escape pods. Yep. You don't need a psychologist to tell you that one's got commitment issues. Mm-hmm. How do you think the crew is holding up? I'm happy to share what I can without violating patient confidentiality. Mm -hmm. Anyone in particular? I sort them in their files and my brain by species. Um, okay. How about... PB? Is PB alright? She's avoiding me. Probably thinks I'll poke her with a needle if she gets too close. Well, you do do to that. To be fair, you're always giving me shots. Ha! <laughs> Not in the hallway. <laughs> That's true. Tell me about Vetra. Yeah. Vetra's used to having someone depend on her. Mm. I think that's why she's so resourceful and likes providing for other people. That being said, I think she could use a little me time. Okay. How's our Solarian? He's quite the gossip. Yeah, he is. Tight-lipped about himself, though. Yeah, that's never good. Is Drac good? That old bastard's always ah. good. Ah. I've never met anyone who can be so stubborn and so appreciative. Could you look out for him, Ryder? <gasps> oh, you bet. Don't worry, Lexi. I'll keep an eye on him. Thank you. And maybe don't mention I ask. <gasps> oh. Lexi and Drax sitting in a tree. How do you think the crew is holding up? Yeah, about I'm the humans. I'm happy to share what I can without violating yes. patient confidentiality. Why didn't you let me go pick the humans? Anyone in particular? Yes, the humans. I sort them in their files. Yes. And my brain Shush. by species. Shush. Human. How do you think the human crew members are handling things? Thank you. There's a lot of them. Yes. A Cora. How's Cora doing? She's processing. Hmm. Your father was her mentor. Yeah. She expected to follow in his footsteps, but he gave the role of pathfinder to you, just because she trusts his judgment doesn't mean she's not confused or hurt fair enough the how's liam's liam? the only good one a handful every really? time i patch him up he breaks something new <laughs> liam's we can't lose attitude is commendable but i worry how he'll react when something does go wrong uh. suvi okay suvi's strong sense of faith keeps her grounded mm. i'm not spiritual but there's a beauty in how her mind rationalizes religion and science yeah gil Gil likes to use humor as a defensive technique. Ah, like me. He'd rather bury himself in the nomad than tackle emotions head on. I see. Thanks for the insight. Mm hmm I need to talk to you. Yeah. About something private. Of mm. course. That's what I'm here for. Really? When Dad died, he blocked off parts of Sam's memory. Things he didn't want me to see. Or he thought you weren't ready for. Mm. Maybe. I found this... trigger? It unlocked a memory fragment of Dad on the Citadel from when the Alliance rejected his ideas about AI and he found out Mom's illness was terminal. Why do you think your father chose this specific memory? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Who knows? Dad's always been one for secrets. But he's sharing them with you now. Yeah. That's something. Okay. How long have you and Harry been friends? Ew. I remember when he didn't complain about arthritis. 
<laughs> we met at a medical convention on the Citadel. Really? He was moderating a panel on neurosurgery in low gravity environments. His name card was crooked. <laughs> but he was so damn confident, I knew we'd be friends. Nice. How did you get into medicine? My mum was a dancer on Omega. Dad was a bouncer. Really? I'd patch him up after busy nights. <laughs> discovered I had steady hands. <laughs> they put every credit they earned into my education. Nice. Are they here in Helios? No. No. Both died in a turf war. <gasps> Made leaving the Milky Way behind easier. You could look at it that way. Is so that... how did a sorry doctor end up on the human arc? Specialist in alien anatomy, remember? Mm -hmm. That includes humans. Also, Harry insisted. Maybe he always intended to switch jobs. Yeah, maybe. I'll let you get back to it. Thank you. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. Strike team missions. Ooh. Uh-huh. Okay. Completed. Yes. Debrief. Five mission funds. Okay. Yes, we got that. Debrief. Mission successful! Look at that. Alright, exit. How about you, Drac? How you feeling, buddy? Hmm? Ryder, you yes. been spender yet? Colonial Affairs, the ass in assistant director. Who? Got no idea why Addison keeps him around. Me neither. Spender lied to the Krogan during the uprising, and he's headed out for cash ever since. Mm. He's up to something. I just can't prove it. We should pay him a visit on the Nexus. I see. Why did the Krogan leave the Nexus? The Nexus got us Krogan to stop the mutiny. In return, we were supposed to get a say in station business. Ooh. Spender, Addison's assistant, lied about the deal. The mm -hmm. tap came down hard. Too hard. So we left. Cash is alone on that station now. You think someone might try to hurt Cash? Ah, more like she airlocks Spender. Hmm? Or he tries to stab her in the back, and then she airlocks him. Dan wouldn't listen to me when I told him Spender had a part in the mutiny. I had no proof. Uh, so what's my part in this? How do we get the proof? Things need to get sorted out, and my clan needs to get back on station without Spender messing things up. Hmm. Way I see it, you're probably the best one for that job. You think so? Got any stories or advice to share? Huh. Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Anything about the cat or combat in general? Well, common cat are pretty straightforward. Hit them hard enough, they die like anything else. Tell me more about fighting cat. Wraiths are sneaky little shits, like yeah. the ghost up behind you when yeah. you least expect it. A wraith, huh? Just oh, yeah. listen for them. They tend to give themselves away right before coming at you. Break through their head plates, then a headshot should do the trick. Nice. What's it like to have Cash as a granddaughter? Uh. Cash is my Rushan, child of my blood. Mm -hmm. Raised her myself. Uh -huh. Damn proud of her, too. She did good, even with me for a granddad. She's honest. Definitely blunt. She had to take after me in some ways, I guess. Did Lexi brief you on Sam and squad connectivity yet? Yeah. You want to hook that thing up to my comm, sure, but that's where it stops. Putting an AI in your head, giving it access to everything like that, it's begging for trouble. Why do you say that? I've seen what bots can do when they turn on their creators. Really? Been in some of those fights. There's a reason that kind of research was outlawed. Yeah. I was dismissed from the Alliance when news of what my dad was researching got out. No shit. Ruined the writer name, I'll bet. Almost. Sam is part of what makes someone a Pathfinder. You're just gonna have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. So long as it's not in my head and it ain't messing with my body. I'd like to know more about you. Fire away. 
Tell me more about the Krogan colony. My clan's there. We also got some scouts looking for any unclaimed territory to grab up. Got a decent setup going. Self-sustainable. It works. Even some farming. Farming? Krogan farm? Food's food. Just because we can eat anything doesn't mean we gotta settle for scraps. <laughs> I'm pretty fond of Corcro roots myself. Takes a while to chew through those. <laughs> How did you invent your meat? Huh, that's oh. right. Your father brought you into the project pretty late, didn't he? Yep. Must have been a pretty steep learning curve since they thawed you out. You could say that. Yeah, you could. You make do with what you get. Anyway, I met Vetra back when we were building the Nexus. Okay. She swiped supplies I was trying to get for cash right under my nose. <laughs> I tried to intimidate her into turning them over to me, and let me tell you, that Turian takes shit from no one. She really has a way of getting things done. Yep. She sure does. Mm-hmm. But here's the best part. She waited until I saw her again in Kesh's office, no less, to tell me she'd been working for Kesh all along. <laughs> They're both still laughing at me over that. <laughs> me too. So about all this combat experience you have, <laughs> uh -huh. I'd love some details. Yeah? Ha! The list will be shorter if you ask me what experience I don't have. What experience don't you have? I've been doing this for a long time now. Centuries. Shit. Well over a thousand years. <gasps> really? Don't even know how I'm still alive, to be honest. Okay. Skill? You need luck to be a merc. Skill, sure, but a whole lot of luck. Nice. And a really hard head. <laughs> we can talk more later. Yeah. Sure. Hey, one last thing. Yeah? Yeah. Is everyone a kid to you? Ha, when you get to be my age, yeah, pretty much. All right. I accept it. Okay. Drac, Krogan Betrayal, yes. Who's that? Is that Gil? Please be Gil. So, Vetra, I hear this joker beat you at poker, too. Uh-oh. Where'd you hear that? A little Brody told her. A gloating Brody. <clears throat> There he is. Give me a better Gil! Finder, making the rounds. Yes, sir. Slumming it, huh? Want to see how the riffraff are making out? Yeah, someone has to. Hey, it's a dirty job. Are you the riffraff spokesman? <laughs> King, actually. Ah! <laughs> you might want to bow. Otherwise, yes, sir. Otherwise, no telling what might fall off the nomad when you're out there. <laughs> I'll take my chances. Uh... Just want to see how things are going with the ship. I can coax more out of this baby than some might think, but we shouldn't go too far or push too hard between Nexus stops. Really? For now. It just feels good to be stretching our wings, you know? Yeah. Locked in idle too long, you start to drift. People, same as ships. Stuck on the Nexus, I gotta say, I was regretting joining the initiative. Seems like life back there was pretty bleak. Yeah. Not gonna lie, it sucked. <laughs> I tend to live the way I work. Kind of feel it, do it. Not a lot of close ties. No real sense of purpose. Figured maybe I'd find my true calling in Andromeda. Then I got here and... Oops. I just made a decision there's no turning back from. Yeah. I was going nuts on that station. You can't know how jazzed I was when you showed up. Yes. We're exploring this cluster. Eventually the galaxy. If your purpose is here, we'll find it. Yeah. And then the question will be, what will I do with it? Yep. <laughs> In the meantime, bad joke. You just keep pointing this ship wherever you want it to go, and I'll make sure she can get there. Excellent. Deal. 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 You bet you bippy. Okay, so now we got the gill. PB. Hi. Ooh. You again. Yes. Want to hear more about my childhood log cabin? Um. You mentioned you came to Andromeda with someone? Nothing gets by you. Yeah. Guess that's why you're the Pathfinder. Okay, I'm the Pathfinder. Just a friend. Now she's not even that. Really? It's better to venture into the unknown without restraints or entanglements. Mm. Don't you think? No, I'm going with sounds lonely. I don't know. Don't friends and loved ones make all the effort worthwhile? Yes. I've always been self-motivated. Don't need much more than curiosity to drive me forward. Mm-hmm. What drew you to the Remnant? 
Are you kidding? Yes, yeah, seriously. It's evidence of a sophisticated species no one knows anything about. It doesn't get more intriguing than that. It's true. There's so much to discover. I want to be the first to figure them out. And the tech, it's on a different scale. Yeah. If we can appropriate it, who knows what advances we'll make. You ain't kidding. So how do you like the team? Interesting bunch. Yeah. I get a good feeling from Vetra. Not your typical military-minded Turian. Liam seems a lively one. I expect he'll surprise me. Drek is, well, Drek. old. Ooh. Wonder if he can still learn new tricks. What about... Gil smacks of complication. Might take some unraveling. Callow and Suvi seem busy. I hope they aren't all work, work, work. <sighs> Who's left? Well, there's... Oh, right. Cora. <laughs> What's her deal? Is she as prim and proper as she comes across? She's exactly what she should be. Capable, reliable. She's a valuable part of my team. Sure, sure. That comes across too. Uh -huh. There's also Lexi, our doctor. She's in a sorry. Oh, I'll get around to her. All in uh -huh. all, seems like a decent bunch. Okay. What was it like for you on the Nexus? Well, I wasn't supposed to be woken up yet. That ex-friend I mentioned, uh -huh. my accomplice, she Ooh. finagled my early thaw. Mm -hmm. So I kind of lived off the grid. Snuck around, bullshitted my way onto excursions off station. <laughs> After I found my first remnant ruin, I started, uh, borrowing shuttles. Nice. After that, I didn't spend much time on the Nexus. I even missed most of the revolt. Ooh. Mm. You really won't tell me what you're working on. That's right. Next question. Fine. What does someone have to do to get you to flirt with them? Ooh. Not much at all. But I get a little extra jolt when I'm matched wink for wink. So just be yourself and the flirts will flow. Is that so? Okie dokie. You're off the hook, PB. Good luck with your project. Thanks. Don't be a stranger. Yes, ma'am. Hi, Vetra. Terraforming, Atmo processors, gravity wells, life-destroying murder bubbles. <laughs> we really had no idea what Helios was about, did we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> if we knew what it was all about, it wouldn't be an adventure. <laughs> it would just be moving. And everyone hates moving. <laughs> just the packing alone? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. Nice. I'm just saying. Uh, uh... I really hope you have a plan, Ryder. The plan's the same. We find a home. Whatever that takes. Keep that drive. Makes me believe we can make it. We can. I mean, we have to make it. The alternative is not even worth thinking about. Okay. How did you hear of the Andromeda Initiative? Yeah. Short answer, Cash. She was looking for some experimental ship mods, and I knew how to track them down. <laughs> I thought it was a one-time deal, but she came back. Once, twice. Eventually, I figured out something was going on. Something mm, big with something creds behind big. it. I asked, and she told me about the initiative. New galaxy, new home. Couldn't pass that up. Have anyone else here with you? Besides Sid? No, just me and Sid. Aww. It's always been just the two of us. Just no, me I mean Sid. Someone special. No. Special? I'm not flirting oh. with her. You mean like Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Who has time? What about you? Like you said, who has time? Yeah. Eventually things will settle down a bit. Sure. Hopefully. Hopefully. Or we'll be dead. Or we'll be dead. Oh. That's a good point. Anyway. You talked about your back channels. Yes. What did you mean? We brought a lot from home. Some of it marked initiative, some of it in personal caches. Mm. Most things you want, someone's got. You just have to figure out who and what they're willing to take in exchange. Mm. That just sounds like you're taking advantage of people. Is it? I get people what they want, and they do want, or they wouldn't pay. You were on the Nexus when the revolt happened? I'm sorry, I just keep clicking everything. Golden world <laughs> and all the ghetto wastelands in a death cloud, they nice. riot. Yeah. Some wanted to go home, some demanded answers. How could you and possibly go just home? Wanted to stir shit up. And you? Some days I wondered if the exiles had a point. Maybe we were conned into coming here. But why would the initiative go to all this trouble just to screw us over? thing about conning people, you always know something they don't. And that's why the con works. And if I'm going to pick a side, I'm picking the liars. What? Why you would you do that? Work to do. We yeah, can you chat do. Later. 
You know okay. where to find me. Yes. Yes, I do. How's my buddy Liam doing? Hi, Liam. Oop, he just phased through that cargo crate. Prodromos. Prodromos. Sounds good, doesn't it? No. We started Pathfinder. A new life. That is goddamn brilliant. What? We barely covered how you joined. Tell me something about yourself. Oh, okay. All right. I was a bad student, piss poor cop, great responder. Had a good life, but it all been done. I wasn't looking to start over. I wanted to start big. You were a cop then, crisis response? Couldn't have been long in either. Didn't have the patience for law, so I figured enforcement. <laughs> Dad knew it didn't fit before I did. But it got me into hustle. They mostly take vets and retired service. Best years of my life. Nice. You found your place. Not everyone gets that. Nope. I knew it. Glad for it every day. And that led me here. Nice. Tell me about your family. I miss the hell out of them. They're all dead. Some nights you just cry, right? That's the thing everyone does. Mom Joel, Dad Calvin. Both lawyers. Met on the Citadel, settled on Earth. No brothers or sisters. That... Might have been too much to leave. It was traditional. How about you? Life with my family was not typical. On a number of fronts. You may do though, right? Family has to. Yes. I know mine did. I said goodbye to my mom and dad. And got on a ship to Andromeda. Yeah. We'll talk later. Yeah, we will. Cause... I know it. Because you have grenades and I like grenades. Grenades good. All right, so I think we've made most of the rounds. And uh might be time to Actually, let's go see. I probably have emails, right? Now what? Email terminal. Proud to be here. Oh, good. A list of media themed to frontiers genre. Ha! <laughs> nice. Okay. I'm the boss. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that. Suvi's very happy. In case I'm interested. Attach my Krogan thesis that I mentioned to you. Only 500 pages? Oh, dear God, I'm not reading that. <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. Hi, Sam. Hello, writer. Hello. Eos has been a lesson in contrast. Yes. Alec Ryder rarely endured doubt. His accomplishments were taken for granted. Mm -hmm. But you succeeded on Eos despite doubt and fear. Emotionally, the difference is like catching a ball versus catching a star. Nice. You have grown as a result. Thank and you. And so have I. Wow. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? Nope. The memory blocks are still in place. If you continue searching for more triggers, they may unlock. Okay. Are you still on the Hyperion? Yes. This terminal provides a direct link to my servers in Samnode on wow. the Ark. How? I can maintain a presence on the Tempest via quantum entanglement communication. Well, there we go. That's useful. I'm sure that'll come in handy. It ensures I remain in touch with you and the Pathfinder team at all times. Well, except when we landed on Habitat 7. What was Dad's take on me and Sarah? He believed your family trials brought you closer together and hoped that would endure. It appears that hope was well founded. Is it confusing to be in multiple places talking to different people? My awareness can be partitioned, so I can give you the same attention as, say, a SAM node technician. In the field, you are my primary focus, hmm. and all other requests are queued. In the vernacular, you have my undivided attention. Cool. Humor. So if we're going to work together, you might notice I like to joke around sometimes. Lighten things up. How's your sense of humor, Sam? Alec Ryder encouraged me to develop this skill. Humor's not a skill, it's... Okay. Try telling me a joke. A neutron enters a bar and asks, 
How much is a drink? The bartender replies, For you, no charge. <laughs> I can see why Dad told you to keep working on your humor. <laughs> Thanks, Sam. <laughs> that was awesome. <sighs> For you, no charge. Such a bad joke. I like it. Oh, this is the mess hall. Anything going on in here? No? Why why is nobody cleaning the dishes? Huh? Please don't make me uh crack down on you guys, huh? Please just don't. Oh shit. There's right. my data pad. Oh, how'd you get under there? What? Uh Subi, were you talking to your notebook? Oh, I was, wasn't I? I do that sometimes. Yes, you do. You have a nice accent. I saw pictures of the vault. Astounding how big it is. Mm -hmm. And how much of it didn't you see? What if it's way bigger? What's all that space for? Wild remnant parties. What else would you use it for? <laughs> well, that's a thought. You don't really think they... Oh, joking. I see. <laughs> <laughs> what do you know about the scourge? We established that it's artificial. Someone put it there. Wow. Or they did something that caused its creation. That's we crazy. Don't know why. That's still a mystery. Hmm. What do you know about the remnants terraforming network? From what I can tell, the vault is designed to adjust almost everything about a planet. Wow. Climate, pH of the soil, atmosphere composition. There's even evidence that it can propagate life. <gasps> if we can figure out how to control the vaults, we could turn these worlds into perfect habitats. Oof. I take you work closely with the next science team? I try to keep in contact with them. Mm -hmm. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. Okay. After all, many brains are better than one. And Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. <laughs> I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. Excellent. I'm still fuzzy about how we managed to see Andromeda all the way from home. It confused me too. I mean, the light lag would have made any data two million years out of date. So I asked Dr. Aridana, and she told me, well, it wasn't her tech that did it. It was the guests. You're kidding. Those killer robots we had in the Milky Way? What? Those exact ones. The initiative obtained data from an array in deep space. A geth construct. According to Aridana, the Geth rebuilt a mass relay and turned the approach corridor into an FTL sensor. Wow, a what now? It operated like a telescope, just faster than light. It provided much more up-to-date info. We don't know why the Geth were interested in observing beyond the galaxy, though. Maybe we'll never know. Did my dad know about this? Why didn't he tell me? It's possible he didn't know. Yeah. The Geth are isolationist and hostile. Using the info, even obtaining it in the first place, probably crossed a lot of boundaries. That is an epic, epic idea. When did you start believing in a god? Yeah. My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager, let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found God. <laughs> but your work as a scientist? Convinced me even more. Really? Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor. Not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. Okay, then. I should get back to things. Yes. Sounds good. Um. Oh, there's an email terminal up here. Dang it! Oh, boy. All right, Callow. Let's talk to you one more time, Hello, too. Neil? When are you cleaning up that repair on the sensor console? I'm not. It's a redesign. Oh. A redesign? Without a trained crew? I'm trained and it's working great. Don't <laughs> be so uptight. Yeah, seriously. Everything okay? <laughs> oh. Fine. 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 Don't worry about it. This is fine. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave him alone. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Okay, uh... Alright, so... We want to... System view, right? Yes. Anomaly on sensors. What? Where? ASD, what? Ah, oh, I missed it. I 
I don't know what this anomaly thing is you're talking about. Fine. Boom. Yeah, I know you could skip this, but you know what? I haven't really zoomed around here too often yet, so. Cool. What is this place? <gasps> Hi. That's awesome. All right. Man, that looks like very volcanic, huh? All right, activate scanner. Um. I don't understand how to use this scanner. Or is it just that there's nothing here? Hmm. All right, so we've scanned this, right? There is no landing zone. This looks like a very volcanic world. Let's go back to our system map. I'm picking up something. Okay. Probe away. Okay. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Really? Let's go. How do we do that? Whoa. Careful now. Ay ay ay. Okay. Um we scan it. Oh, iron deposit. 99 iron. Really? 99 iron. Oy oy oy. Okay. Um We been there yet? No, I don't. I think we have. Yes. So we gotta go to Nanook. Look out for the asteroids. I hope you guys know how to fly this thing. All right, let's scan this place. I'm sure, this is a lovely place to visit. Activate scanner. All right. Orbital period is only 165 years. Nice. Mm -mm -mm. And let's go over there. This is so cool. I love the skybox. Oh, <gasps> this is pretty. What have we here? Anomaly detected. Yeah? <gasps> Anomaly located. Deploy probe. Probes launched. Satellite detected. <gasps> A scientific monitor launched by early exposed to EOS. Its mission was abandoned when the original settlement of EOS failed, but it has gathered valuable data. Okay. Gained 50 Milky Way. Okay. Um, uh, planet view. Cool. System view. What's left? Two more, right? I'm gonna go to Pele. That looks a very promising planet. I don't know why we're not there. Let's go to Pele. Oh, this is a warm and nasty place, I think. Oof. Tidal heating and bombardment from Pythias asteroid belt has aggravated Pele's vo volcanic activity. Methane in its upper atmosphere contributes to the planet's scorching conditions. Good grief. Okay. 
And this will hopefully be our last stop in this system. Zoom, zoom. Oh, and what have we here? Are you a cold place? You look cold. You definitely look cold. I'm picking up something. <gasps> More anomalies. Yay, I like anomalies. I wish you could tell me more about what you've... Oh, what's that? Probes launched. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Ooh. Okay. Is that really it? Okay. I guess. All right. It is a candidate for mining. Okay. Yeah. All right. So how do I get to the nexus? I assume that's the Nexus. I hope. Have I been here? How do I get back to the Nexus? <laughs> wow. This is okay. about as far as the Nexus surveyors could get before. Well, Ooh. let's see what's waiting here. <gasps> okay. Is that a black hole? Sensors. Yeah. Okay. Deploy a probe. Probes launched. Yeah. Tracking a huge mineral deposit. Okay. This is kind of annoying. Huge mineral deposit. Wow. Activate scanner, grab some aluminium. I said it that way on purpose. Okay, so let's get back out. Um, it is a black hole. I don't think I want to go to a black hole yet. Oh, the Nexus is there. Doi. Sorry. All right, let's get back to the Nexus, and then uh, we'll call this episode, because I'm pretty sure I'm long right now. But that's okay. Uh, familiar territory. Yes. The Nexus has been here for months. Still not enough time to survey it all. Really? Well, that's lame. Anomaly detected. Ugh. That's all you do is detect anomaly. Stop it. What is that? Probe away. I found something. Uh huh. Element zero. Oh, I hope this isn't the scourge. What is this? Wow, that's wild looking. Ooh. Hi. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, um, shall we go to the Nexus now, finally? Please? My god, bulls. That black hole is just epic in the background there, my goodness. Cannot wait to go there. Hello, Nexus! Oh, so pretty. Um... Docking bay. Yes, we do. We do wish that very muchly so. Ooh! Oh, that's so cool. I like this ship. It's exciting. Look at this. This is so dang pretty. Oh, I hope mankind reaches this point someday. See, I'm annoyed that the term is mankind. It should be humanity. So I apologize. I hope humanity reaches this point someday. But the point we have reached is the end of this episode. Thank you very much Earth for watching. Oh, wait a minute. We're settling Eos. 
We've thought that before. But Eos is different now, right? Yeah, right. Pathfinder. All right, settle down. Give him space. Yes. Lieutenant Syax, Kendros's aide. Hi. They all wanted to see you. Real hope again. It's been a while. Huh. Relax, Lieutenant. If there was ever a day to pop some champagne. Certainly. The initiative's finally back on track. Yes. Professor Herrick, right? What you achieve with that remnant vault is unprecedented, Pathfinder. Yes, it is. Impossible. Mm, a little bit. New scientific talent waking up will unravel those mysteries. Mm. The whole nexus will benefit. We've taken some hard knocks, but this proves we'll always get up again. Yes. Always. I get knocked down, but well, I get up again. For? There's a new world out there. Thank you, Ryder. You're welcome. Okay. So now that's the end of the episode. Bye. Bye.